All right, good morning everyone. I see you've seen the, that I've already prepared the lecture for today. All right, so for today's philosophy class, uh, we're gonna be focusing on a very critical issue, uh, that issue being the uh, racial dynamics between the foreign workers of Malaysia and its local communities. Now, this is a very important issue to discuss as this actually influences the relationship between the culture, the social systems, and also the identity of both Malaysia and the nations included. Now, for today, as a street, I searched up a video for us to look at, and it does contain a lot of information that encapsulates the entire issue uh, in its entirety. So, for the sake of uh, saving time, we'll be watching this video and I want you guys to take note of anything that you think is noteworthy, of course. Uh, if you don't have a pen and paper, you can type it on your phone. And at the end of the video, I have some questions for you guys. Uh, if it relates to any of the answers that you typed out, please feel free to just uh, call, call, out, uh, call, out, call yourself out immediately. Do not be afraid to talk with me as this is philosophy. Uh, discussing ideas is the point. Good evening, viewers. Today, we will be shedding light upon the, the critical issue of racial dynamics within the workplace between foreign workers and the local community of Malaysia. Many of the disturbing reports have been surfacing about our, the mistreatment of our foreign workers, even though they contribute a significant amount to our country's economy. The mistreatment of our foreign workers is happening on a daily basis, ranging from horrible working conditions, workplace harassments, and in worst case scenarios, they get their passports confiscated. Employers in certain sectors, such as the construction sector, tend to underpay their foreign workers as compared to their local counterparts. This exploitation arises from the wrong belief system that foreign workers do not have or are not familiar with the adequate procedures and standards as to compare with the local workers. In the case of workplace harassment, many Indonesian women come to Malaysia seeking employment as domestic workers. Unfortunately, all they encounter is instances of sexual harassment throughout their workplace. These incidents are raising concerns about the vulnerability of women in the workplace. The working conditions for these foreign workers are no better. Many find themselves cramped into very small working spaces where their basic hygiene standards are barely ever met. These spaces are so cramped, in fact, that there is a risk of, spread of spreading diseases among their colleagues. There are times where these migrant workers are confiscated of their passports as well. Stripped of this essential identification document, workers find it hard to leave their current job as in order to apply to another job, they must present their passport to their current workplace, leaving them no freedom to leave. Now, on to our second news anchor, who will give you some insights as to how many foreign workers are currently in Malaysia, where they're from, and which sectors they work in. Thank you so much for the referral. Uh, so according to the Department of Statistics Malaysia, in two, uh, 2019, there were about 2 million foreign uh, workers in Malaysia at the time. Uh, these workers migrate from the, uh, uh, all around the world, but mostly from Southeast Asia, coming from primarily Indonesia, Nepal, and Bangladesh. So these workers come here and work in sectors primarily uh, speaking, they work in services, they work in manufacturing, construction, all the types like that. So a large percentage of uh, this uh, chart is actually mostly in Southeast Asia. The biggest percentage held by Indonesia, has, which has about one third of the foreign workers force, uh, next coming in is Bangladesh with about 25% of the force and after that uh, in third place is Nepal. The rest is pretty negligible as their numbers uh, compared to Bangladesh, Indonesia and Nepal are quite small. Now uh, these countries come to Malaysia expecting peace and uh, prosperity for themselves as in their home countries they are probably poverty and war torn. Now, because they migrate, uh, they wish to migrate to Malaysia for these opportunities, sometimes some of these people don't go through the right procedures. 
and come here illegally. In the end, the people that do end up here uh, eventually get exploited by the local community of Malaysia as with more foreign workers unfamiliar with the laws of Malaysia come uh, opportunities for local workers to exploit them and increase their station. Uh, for now, I believe we do have a uh, on-site interview for uh, foreign work, where foreign workers are taking interviews and local workers are taking interviews. I believe so. Like Bangladesh Bangladesh আশার পরে আমরা তো এখন নিশ্চয় মালয়েশিয়া আশার পরে আমরা কোনো কাজ পাইনি এই যাবত পর্যন্ত আটটা মাস হয়ে গেছে আমরা কোনো কাজ পাইনি পাসপোর্ট দেয় না পাসপোর্ট নিতে গেলে আরো 2 লাখ টাকা চাই আমরা রাস্তা গাড়ি বাইরে লিয়ে ভয় পাই ইমিগ্রেশন কখন জানি ধরে ফেলে আমরা তো বৈধভাবে আসছি কোলিং এ কোলিং এ আসার পরে আমাদের এই ভয় থাকতে হচ্ছে তো এই জন্য আমাদের সবাই মিলে আবেদন মালয়েশিয়া সরকারের কাছে যে আমাদেরকে ভালোভাবে এখান থেকে উদ্ধার কইরা ভালো একটা কাজ দেওয়ার জন্য <coughs> How you do enforcement, you know, you need to catch the, the big sharks. Lah. And we see most of the time, employers get away. <laughs> get away in getting more migrant labor in this country, you know. They, they get away because they threaten the government, they say economy is dying, you better get. And now we have instances of so many people stranded there and here. Alright, so that video definitely raised some very thought-provoking questions. Now, as your teacher, I am obligated to ask you uh, some questions as to see how your studies are going. So earlier, I told you guys to take some note of uh, anything that you think was noteworthy of the video. Now, uh, it depends on you if you want to answer, but if you think your answer relates to the question that I'm asking, go ahead and raise your hand or stop me. Now, first question. What do you think is the philosophical concept that you can extract from this uh, video about racial dynamics. Anyone? Professor, I've been considering about the topics that we have covered in psychology so far relate to the discrimination again against the migrant workers in Malaysia and the underlying racial dynamics it reveals. I mean, psychologically speaking, it seems to reaffirm the concept of authoring. I think it's possible that the local community of Malaysia are unintentionally forming a divide against themselves and the immigrant workers by, by attaching unfavorable notions against them. Okay, very good insights. Very good insights. Clearly you paid attention to uh, my lectures. So you're, you're definitely uh, correct in some points, so I give you, uh, give, I'll throw you a bone, I'll give you some props for that. Alright, next question. What sociological aspect can you absorb from this video? Yes sir, I think we have studied social inequality in sociology and it appears to contribute to the mistake of the foreign labor. Furthermore, systematic problems such as unequal opportunity and resource distribution make a group of people vulnerable to abuse. A further layer is added by racial dynamics, which learns larger social power structures. The foreign labor experience prejudice in both social and economic spheres. Okay, there are a few problems with what you just said, but in totality, you are not wrong. I'll give you a few points for that. You, everything you said is right and wrong, but we can discuss that later. I'll give you a few points. Now, to wrap up this lecture, uh, I want, uh, I really want to wrap up this lecture right now. So, does anyone, anyone at all, have anything that they want to say? They, does anyone want to voice out what they've wrote down? Anyone? Within the Malaysian context, the sincere ideology is frequently linked to the notion of advocating for societal peace, sustainable development, and holistic well-being. When considering the racial dynamics between foreign workers and local workers in Malaysia, the philosophy of sincere becomes relevant in several ways. The racial dynamics between the foreign and local workers could be able to pass on how well they contribute to or hinder the society the harmony within the community. Analyzing the racial dynamics in the workforce involves looking at whether foreign workers are treated fairly and whether their contribution to the economy are acknowledged and justly compensated, ensuring that all workers, regardless of their nationality or race, 
have access to fair wages and working conditions supports the principle of subjector, examining the racial dynamics in both assessing whether foreign workers are treated with dignity and fairness without facing discrimination or exploitation, respecting the rights and dignity of all workers aligns with the principle of subjector. All right, thank you very much. Uh, next time, make sure to raise your hand and tell me when you're going to uh, give me your answer. But uh, above all else, good job. You're not wrong. Uh, so I give you 10 points, good job. Now, this is basically the end of the lecture, everyone. But before you all leave, and uh, don't worry about attendance, I've already taken it for you. Before you all leave, I would like to give you guys a thought about the fundamentals of the philosophical concept that we've learned today. Now, today in particular, we were studying uh, racial dynamics between foreign workers and uh, the local community of Malaysia. Um, the reality of the situation is, applying, by applying our philosophical ideas and concepts to the situation, uh, in the end, we can understand that it is, uh, all human life is important and that no workers, foreign or local, should be disrespected and mistreated. All groups, almost every group, doesn't matter where you're from, if you're from the US, if you're from Africa, or here in Malaysia, all groups must be treated with dignity and respect. This is something that you will eventually find out when you apply your philosophical concepts to real-world situations. Now, uh, at the end of the day, in order for us to have a just and harmonious world, these philosophical concepts must be applied to every situation, every interaction, and every conversation you'll ever have in your life. Treat people with respect and dignity, and you'll be treated the same in return. If you don't do that, you can expect them to come back at you some other time. Now, that's all I have to say. Thank you everyone for coming to the lecture. I hope to see you uh, next week when we're gonna be discussing something else. I won't tell you for now. But thank you for coming to the lecture. Uh, you can go ahead and pack this up. Go ahead, go out. <laughs>